My name is Jamie and this is the vlog for August 23rd, 2021. It is about 10 o'clock at night and I don't know if I'm going to post this. Um, I may just write instead because I'm trying to look for words and I think this is profound enough that um, other people can benefit from it and I get a lot more views on my blog than I do on my vlog. Excuse me. So uh, we've been living the pandemic life since uh, March 2021. Um, so it's over a year. Kiddo has been able to go back to school. I've been able to go back to work through degree. Um, Child Watch at the Y is not coming back until children can be vaccinated, I'm guessing. And that's just a guess. I don't know. Um, so here we are and, uh, I've been kicking around ideas for a big vacation in February with my family, still kicking around ideas. Um, I absolutely hate, I'm very frank that pretty much all I can do is kick around ideas, maybe put down a deposit or two fully marking every refundable date on my calendar because I have no fucking clue what's going to happen in the world um, between now and then. I don't know if it's going to be safe to take the kid. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I'm just, I need a vacation. And I know I just took one in June to go see my family and, but it's, I need my whole family here. I am just at the point where I am, and this has actually never happened, never happened during a deployment before, ever. It's never happened, period, before. Um, I'm an incredibly independent person. I always have been. But I'm at the point where I just want my whole family here, and I want them all to be safe, and I want it to be safe for us to go and find joy somewhere else rather than these four walls. And I'm angry and I'm frustrated. Other than a few friends sporadically here and there, I've been basically doing this alone for the better part of two years. And that is not a, a negative thing against my husband. When he is home, he's 100% helpful, 100% present. But we didn't get anything close to normal um, for the short period of time he was home last year. Either I was sick, kiddo was having surgery, smoke again smoked out the four-day cabin weekend we had planned. I am sick of having to look so hard to find joy. And I do believe that two things can be true at the same time. That I can be incredibly grateful for the amazing 2019 that I had. Uh, I'm wearing a sweatshirt from Oktoberfest <laughs> when I went with my mom um, and my husband. And my brother came up last year and did some hiking, and that was good. I mean, I've had a lot of good. The, the Disney cruise, oh my God, that has sustained us. You know? <laughs> um, but my soul is just tired and frustrated and lonely. Saturday was strong woman and I got five of my clients together. My friend Patty got five of her clients together. We did our annual strong woman events. It was a good day. I worked really hard. Um, to be coach, 
to be a lifter of things that are super heavy. Um, my hands were just shot after carrying 200 pound farmer's carries across the field and back over and over and over again. <laughs> um, it's just, it was a distraction that I needed and I don't get enough of. My kid is amazing and she's going into school. That is awesome. And yes, I'll have more time to myself when she's at school. I get back to lifting. I think that's a big part of it is all of this stress just has nowhere to go. I've been doing a lot of cleaning. And, you know, I got her sleep alarm back in functioning because quite honestly, it got buried under clutter for a while. And, um, it downloaded the last thing it had saved and the, the measurements were alarming. So I put in a call to her doctor. Um, but it's like, I'm just... I want answers. I want answers to why her brain doesn't tell her lungs to take a deep enough breath. <laughs> Maybe I need to post this. Maybe this needs to be something other people see. I can't wait. For her to be able to have a vaccine or some immuno boosting something. That gives her a better shot of fighting this off. Because while my friends are arguing about their kids wearing masks to school. My kid's heart's racing because her O2 levels are at 90% and her body is trying to make up for it. And before they say, well, that's the kind of kid you should just keep home. I can't keep her home all the time. A, a slow death like that doesn't, <laughs> you know, it doesn't make it any better. <laughs> She's an only kid. Who's she going to play with? You know? I can only do so much. She needs other people in her life. We all do. We all do. And I want to plan a trip, but I'm terrified she's going to catch this. Because she is textbook. Textbook. The kid that looks pretty much okay. That ends up in the hospital on a respirator. Because she gets pneumonia every time she gets an upper respiratory anything. So a pandemic level virus that attacks your nervous system and your lungs is terrifying. As a parent of a kid who has something mildly wrong with her nervous system and her lungs. I want stuttering to still be a problem for her when she's 13, and I want that to be her biggest problem. I want that mild stutter to be her biggest problem. Because I want her to see 13. And I'm trying to still like these people that just don't see it the way I do. And understand that they don't have the same scenario. Or maybe they've just not investigated the weird little quirks with their kid and just accepted it as weird little quirks where we've gone to the doctors and pushed to see what's actually going on. But two things can be true. 
I can be grateful for this wonderful family that I have. Grateful that my husband has an essential job. We have roof over our heads. We're okay. Three things can be true. I can be mad as hell at the state of the world. And I can be terrified. All at the same time. I might not post this. I don't really want any comments. <laughs> I don't really have anything else to say. I just want my family one piece. And I want to be able to go plan something amazing and fun to look forward to. So I'm going to continue to do what I can to get the stress literally out of my body. find so they look forward to because I really hope it's not just a whole lot more of this for the rest of the year I really hope